She real bold. She's real bold. Mm hmm. Don't take it personal. Hey beauties, how y'all doing? I am Lissa and this is Life with Liss. Welcome back. For those who are subscribed, thank you so much. And for those who are newly subscribed, welcome and thank you so much. I am so grateful for every person who tunes in to watch every video. It really means a lot. Let's keep this thing going and growing. If you are seeing my face for the first time, this face here, go ahead, like, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can be updated for more videos to come, okay? Cool. All right, y'all, so today, I was on Libs of TikTok and I saw this video of a DoorDash Karen that took somebody's food back because they only gave her an $8 tip. The reason we are going to watch this is because I drive for Uber Eats and I think when I saw it, I thought it was funny. So we're gonna see it together. I think it's very interesting the decisions this lady has made and making these people pay for it. So let's see what's up with this. How you can leave it, thank you. I'm already laughing. Um, no, I can speak to you actually. I'm sorry? I need to speak to you. I don't think you realize where they're coming from, so I need to speak to you. Where what's coming from? Where the food you ordered is coming from. I don't think you realize the distance that it's come from because then you would never actually have given what you gave. So, I think you can come and see case to face. Oh, so I've been doing Uber Eats for, it hasn't been a year yet. It's only been, I don't know, almost a year now. And it's very interesting. I would never have thought to approach somebody about tipping me about anything, tipping me anything. I would have never thought to do this at all. You can choose. The thing about Uber Eats and DoorDash, which I used to be a part of, the thing about it is you get to choose every bit of what you do, where you go, all of that. Yeah, you see the amount of uh, how much you're going to receive up front. So if they want to add more, if they decide to take some away, if you like did a horrible job, then that could happen too. But you pretty much know what you're going into when you press, when you accept the ride, when you accept the delivery. So I think this is very interesting. <laughs> she do it a lot already. Cause I drove 40 minutes. I drove 40 minutes and it was extremely far and I got it to you early. So I don't think you realize where you work from. Mother. I'm not, I don't understand. Um, well, I think from where? From the restaurant that you ordered from. Do you realize how far it is? Do you realize you ordered from Carmack and you're in Smithtown? That's a that's a 15, 20 minute drive. It's not. You need to try to drive it. I just drove it. It's 40 minutes. It's it's 12 and a half miles. So I don't think you realize how far it is. So but I think you have to pick up if you think it's that far. I, they don't let us know how far, so I think you need to adjust your tip. To make See, she already lying. Because he said, why did you accept the trip if you if you knew it was that far? You do know how far the trip is. You do. It tells you how many miles you're going. It tells you how much, especially if it's DoorDash, it tells you how many miles you're going in total. It tells you how much money you're going to, going to get in total. Um, so she definitely lying. I don't know why she, she must have just accepted it blindly or I don't know. Sometimes the only thing I will give her an out on sometimes if you if they add another ride in DoorDash if I remember correctly it doesn't give you the mileage of the of the extra. I don't know. I can't remember. But that's the only thing I can give her is if she did two and and she drove 40 minutes. She really coming for him. She really saying, nah, you should have tipped me more. I drove 40 minutes to your house, even though this is, even though I'm a gig worker, contract worker, which means that I pretty much run the show. And I, <laughs> if you run the show, then you didn't have to do it. Ooh, 
where you don't go anywhere without you approving it. So it's very interesting. <laughs> she all up in the ring, her face all up in the ring saying, you, you. <laughs> Come out here, speak to me face to face. She real bold. She's real bold. Mm-hmm. Bold and wrong. <laughs> How far? So I think you need to adjust your tip to make it right. How much is the tip? You gave an eight dollar tip. What the hell are you looking for? I gave an eight dollar. Okay, I'm gonna bring the food back. I'm gonna bring the food back. Okay. Okay. Is she fucking kidding? Wow. Let me finish the rest. Forty minutes until thirty Wow. 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 If he tips eight dollars on top of the base pay, that's kind of cute. Not for forty minutes. If it took her forty minutes to get there, then no, it's not cute. But if it really takes fifteen, twenty minutes to get there, then. That's kind of cute. It shouldn't have taken, it should have been, been bam done. You could have made like, what, 12 to $15 off of that one ride if it was 15 to 20 minutes. 40 minutes is ridiculous. No, I wouldn't do it. And she took the food back? See, that's just so spiteful. She took the food back. What's she gonna do, take it back to the restaurant? <laughs> Drive another 40 minutes, take it back to the restaurant because you bad that he didn't tip you enough. How much of a tip did she expect to get? How much of a tip? I just, and I do it and I'm, and I'm thinking like, what? Cause they're not in the car with you. They don't know which route you're going. You could have taken all the back roads, which would have taken you 40 minutes to get there. It's like, what, what did you do to get to the house? And you said you got here early. So if you got here early, how did it take you 40 minutes? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just found this whole thing funny because she had the audacity to drop off the food, ring the doorbell, demand that he come to the door and speak to her so that she can get a better tip because of how long it took her to get there, even though she accepted the delivery. At any point, she could have also canceled the delivery because you don't have to do it either. You could get to halfway to the restaurant and say, oh, not changing my mind. You could. Everything was under her control. So once you get to the house, just drop the food off. That was so rude. They waited all that time for that. They waited all that time for that food and now they gotta go hungry. <laughs> they going hungry because of her. <laughs> Hopefully they called DoorDash and DoorDash was able to fix it, but mm -mm. stuff like this. <laughs> Let me see what she said again. She said, I'm gonna take it back. I gotta see that again. You gave an $8 tip. What the hell are you looking for? I gave an $8 tip. Okay, I'm gonna bring the food back. I'm gonna bring the food back. Okay. Okay. Is she fucking kidding? She got heels on. She got heels on through these deliveries. Okay. She bougie with it. She's a bougie door dasher. <laughs> she must have been expecting like $20 or something. But again, it would have told you what the price was up front, which is why I'm still confused. You had every, everybody that does this type of gig work has the choice to do what they want to do. You are an independent contractor. You are pretty much in charge of your own business. So it should be your business to deal with once you hit that button and say I'm gonna go get this food for this person anything else you just need to handle you need to take care of because you decided already that's all I got to say about that that was just hmm people you know all right thank you so much y'all for watching I really appreciate it and I will see you in the next one love yourself love others always bye beauties Take it personal